Fraser Elementary sits shuttered and decaying, but DISD has a plan to retrofit Fraser as a one-stop shop adult services center called Fraser House. The community is needing for this to happen, but politics and distrust are getting in the way. Hank Lawson and Marion Williams have been in the trenches to bring Fraser House to life. We are excited about reopening Fraser uh, Elementary as a, a one-stop uh, place for adults, uh, especially these young mothers, to come and get the kind of assistance they need uh, to better their life. People can get uh, educated, they can get psych services, they will be able to get training for different um, electrical, plumbing. One of the biggest barriers is, uh, the, the most common one, uh, is, is this disbelief that something good is going to happen. They've had so many uh, programs come and go with, you know, promises of doing certain things, and it just hasn't panned out. I think they're getting on board, but I think it's a trust factor. It's, a long, it's been a long journey, um, but I think what people thought we were going to go away. It takes persistence, you know, over and over trying to make people understand. Because if you don't have a thirst or hunger for it, you don't understand. So we have to do all we can to gain the confidence of the community. And we've, we've uh, been over backwards to try to reach out and make them a part of all of our planning process and give them very responsible roles in, in shaping that vision for the community and then providing training and, and uh, support to help them get to a point where they can be a productive partner in those discussions. We're here to, for people, for us to pour into people's lives and for us to pour, in, and for people to pour into our lives to make a, a big change. You know, we have all the pieces, but can we work together and can we execute?